everyone welcome back okay so let's continue our learning uh, in this video we'll cover the architecture which is quite simple uh, though this uh, the this helix project right or franklin it has been an evolution in the architecture that's why it is called with several names the project helix franklin etc because they started with helix 1 2 and then helix franklin 3 franklin 4 uh, the current version is franklin 4 uh, helix 5 is in work in progress as per documentation the, this documentation the series what i have created is based on franklin 4 so to understand the architecture likewise we have in aem uh, we have front end tier we have the the authoring tier and then in between we have the the authoring we uh, authors create the content etc we store the content somewhere etc similar to that also now starting with the very lower uh, which is authoring stack which is nothing but where the business authors will put the content uh, aem author is available that option is available we'll still create content on aem author and then uh, the same can be replicated to uh, for the end site that option is available along with that we also have option of document based authoring likewise i uh, explained in the last video which is nothing but we can use google documents or the um, word document in sharepoint location um, author will create that content and then will replicate or will preview that content we will we will discuss it how do we do that in um, in next videos but yeah the authoring there will be authoring and then of course there will be code right uh, developers will put the code which is nothing but the github repository and uh, now there is a new terminology called content hub content hub so in authors uh, once the content is created it lies in your am where you will have the content pages or assets etc here this terminology which is content hub uh, which is nothing but a storage okay if you are already familiar with aws s3 or uh, cloudflare r2 which is nothing but uh, storage so it's, it's same so content hub is nothing but storage now there will be different buckets uh, within the content let's under, let's take the example of s3 if you i i would advise if you if you are not familiar with what is aws s3 um just to try to understand maybe uh, go for few videos i have another video uh, where i explain what is s3 please watch that so in s3 nothing but we can store the objects and we can create buckets in here also we will have separate buckets and i think um, this is my assumption uh, we will have separate we are calling them buses we have separate buses media bus content bus media bus nothing but the assets we are will put our um, videos images etc the assets that is media bus the content bus uh, likewise we had the content right the pages structured pages here also we have the same concept structured and unstructured content and the code bus is nothing but the whatever code we will have here in the github repository how do we pull that and then make it available so that it can be previewed or it can be published okay so this is content hub where um, we will have uh, we'll pull this in the content hub in the buckets how do we use that how do we pull that now that technology comes in the delivery stack which is nothing but combination of few technologies but uh, uh, overall it is nothing but the cdn the the content delivery network that's why it's edge delivery along with pipeline services now those pipeline services nothing but we will pull these content okay and then we will convert it to hypermedia a hypermedia is like a very familiar terminology used for world wide web i mean whether it's your pages whether it's your assets videos how do we convert it to so that it can be utilized on www so for example html html is kind of hypermedia so uh, we, we we will first those pipeline services are responsible to convert uh, your content which is lies in media bus or content bus or code bus to hypermedia so that it is available on cdn so uh, this is a rough idea the overall architecture of franklin project which is divided into three parts delivery stack which is a combination of cdn and pipeline services content hub which is nothing but our assets our pages our code repository our code which we will pull from the github repository and finally the authoring stack 
where we'll configure the uh, content for our website either through AEM author or using document uh, based authoring Google Docs or SharePoint there are other ways also like uh, the universal editor etc but yeah I mean the the concept is same here to understand uh, for Franklin project document based authoring is the main concept which we should understand uh, okay thank you so much for watching this video we'll cover the architecture in more detail in next videos